So I'm gonna do like a little uh, little quick shot of the MC 101 by Roland. Great little uh, groove box slash drum machine slash sampler. And right now what I'm doing is, I thought I would just give it a run with doing some hip hop beats. I haven't seen anyone doing that yet. So I just got really pretty much this project that I'm loading up, everything is on track one. I don't think that I've even uh, loaded anything up on tracks two through four. So just going through, listening to some stuff. It, it, it imports samples pretty well, the wave samples. And uh, like I said, this thing can be set up any way you want it to be. It can be a groove box. It can be a rompler. Uh, you know, it's got a nice synth engine in it. Um, it can be an NPC. You can load up a bunch of stuff. Sounds good. So I'm gonna hit the record. It's got the little uh, multi effects. And you know, you can kind of layer those little effects. I believe you can. I think I did it. Can't remember how I did it. I'm still learning this thing, so uh, pardon me. Now I'm just going through some files here. I. I have my SD card just chock full of wave files. The load time on this thing is pretty decent. These are a bunch of one shots, maybe like between three and three and seven seconds long. Some of these are like ten seconds. So now I want to try this symbol. But I want to put a delay on this thing. Let's see. Delay, 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 send. Crazy thing about it is uh, you have to sort of turn down the sends on everything that you don't want affected by the delay. So I went in and just turned the delay down from 126 to faulted at 127. So I just turned everything down to zero except for this little closed hi-hat. So I came back and I turned down all of the delay sends on the other pads. So it's off except for the except for the closed hi-hat. So now I'm gonna just try to drop it in. And I'll show you in a minute how to adjust the velocity on this on the hits. Uh, using the sequencer, step sequencer. Symbols are a little sloppy, so I mean you can nudge those things if you want. And what I what I'm basically doing is just taking the notes and just dropping them in in a grid fashion. So I want to sort of humanize these uh, symbols a little bit. So. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and adjust. Still learning this thing, so I'm fiddling around with the button, seeing what's what. And the cool thing about it is, once you adjust one pad, one note value, it or and when you by the time you touch another note, it automatically, you know, learns what you want to do, and it, it will get you somewhere in the ballpark. So as soon as I touch the knob, if I like, if I lower it to a certain number, the next pad will be uh, like around that same number. I wish this thing had a metronome, it would be much better. And I wish you could trim your samples, you can't trim your samples. So like if you're, if you're importing something from like your SD card and it's a WAV file, there's just no way to trim off the space in the beginning at the end. You're sort of stuck with whatever you loaded on the SD card. So uh, like Loop Pop said, the best thing for you to do is just to, I'm not sure if you can do this on the 707, but I guess the best thing to do would just be to edit this thing in your DAW or, you know, whatever program you use and just load it on the uh, SD card. But man, that's kind of the excitement, you know, putting a sample into the into the MPC and trimming it, trimming a nice snare or kick. That's part of the fun. I mean, come on, Roland. Even the MPC 500, a, a Yamaha SU10 can can trim your samples. Even the Korg Korg. Uh, a uh, Volca sample can actually trim samples on the end in the beginning. So, come on, Roland. Update. 
Get a, give us a metronome, subfolders, and a wave file trim. This is a little MOP sample I lifted. That's Lil Fame yelling. Just messing with the filters. I'll go through a bunch of filters so you can just hear what's in this multi effect. Some pretty good stuff in here. Build on this thing is is uh, it's plasticky. It, feel, it feels it doesn't feel overly cheap. I, I don't think it would survive a, a a good fall though. So gentle hands with this thing. Synth engine is not that deep. I mean, you can control stuff like cut off resonance envelopes, things of that nature, pans and EQs, filters. Some modulation adjustments, but it's nowhere near as deep as the 707. But the effects on this thing are just crazy. I think this beat has been running for too long, so I'm going to switch it up. I don't want to torture you with my lo fi hip hop. So, uh, all right, so I got a track here, load another track, a little house track that I did last night. And I used uh, some tones, some tone tracks on this. And same mixture. I, I like to mix it up a little bit. I was using a little bit of everything. And I took up all four tracks. The beat on track one. You can actually have just uh, all four tracks full of nothing but samples. Which is, which is very, very cool. It's convenient. So like I said, you can set this thing up to where it behaves like an MPC without all of the functionalities of the MPC. But it can also be like your classic groove box with the synth sounds and the drum kits or a mixture or you can mix and match or you can just do a bunch of synthesizer, lay it out, synthesizer stuff like the Electron A4. So it's, it's like all three and blend it into one box, which I think is cool. So since you don't have that sample trim You'd have to be a little bit more creative with this thing. You'd, you'd, you could use the nudge feature or like I said, uh, pre-edit your samples before you load them up onto the SD card. Otherwise, you, you got to do some adjustments on the uh, step sequencer, which is okay. Here we go, muting a few pads, bringing them back. So anyway, this is my review of the MPC 101. Uh, excuse me, uh, MC 101. <laughs> Thanks for looking, everybody. Nice piece of gear. So good enough for sample heads, good enough for synth heads, good enough for live DJs, and a small form factor. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Throw it in a bag and travel with it.